Hey guys, we're back and it looks like they're ready. So I'm using this to fish them out of this nice hot water. Oh boy, these look good. Now, the colors change just like a lobster. Uh, instead of being that uh, nice red, uh, dark brownish purple, uh, two-tone and all that, everything is solid red. Look at how pretty they look. Now what we want to do, they've been sitting in the water for 30 minutes. I have a colander here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take them out of that colander and we're going to put them right in these uh, hotel pans. These hotel pans come in really nice and handy. And we're going to throw them in there so that they stay uh, not so um, uh, still immersed in hot water. We want them to cool. And if you even have a bed of ice that you want to, I'm going to put some ice in here and let them cool on some ice, not directly because it'll turn into water and it'll wash out that flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and grab a bowl so that it can collect the water and so they're not sitting in water. I'm just going to make a little bit of room here, guys. We'll put it right on in the middle in between. And then I can fish the crawfish right out of the pot. After you've left them in there for 30 minutes, you don't really want them to sit in the water for too much longer because the water's hot in the crustaceans and they're small, so they'll continue cooking. And they'll even continue cooking a little bit uh, after you've taken them all out of the water. But this is awesome. Uh, it, it, depending on how you make your, your crab oil, you can make it as spicy as you want or you can make it not as spicy. But what I'm going to do after I bring these guys out, this is what we do to the crawfish after you bring them out. Even though you've seasoned up your, your crab boil water or your crawfish boil water, you still uh, want to add a little bit of seasoning on the outsides of the shell so that while you're eating your crawfish, they've still got some of that really nice seasoning flavoring on the tops of the shells because that's still gonna add a nice little Cajun uh, scent and spice to it. So this is what we usually do when we got these crawfish. We take them, get them out the water, and then to top it off, we sprinkle some of your same Cajun seasoning on them so that uh, once you they've cooled off and they're in that seasoning, uh, while you're eating them and you're you're actually getting the really good flavor of the, the Louisiana seasoning on the tops of the crawfish. So you scoop around to make sure you got all of them. There's only a couple more left in here. You want to get, you know, they got some uh, claws that have fallen off, but that's not a big deal. But you want to try to get all the, the crayfish themselves. The little ones are the ones that usually uh, hide on the bottom of the water. We get the, all of those out because they're so delicious. Their meat is so sweet. They're like eating little baby lobsters. They're so awesome. I can't wait until we uh, get that little season and then they cool down so that we can really dig in. I think my sister's even going to uh, help me eat some of these because uh, she's looking at them uh, with those uh, <laughs> curious eyes. You know, she's not a great lobster fan, but she loves shrimp. And these are more on the shrimp side than they are lobster. They got a really nice flavor to them. So I think that's it. I think we've got pretty much all of them. I don't see any more coming up in the pot. There's a couple little ones. You know, it's always good to kind of skim around there because when these are done, you're going to wish that you had grabbed every single one of them because they're, uh, you know, it's not that something that you fill up on, but it's a really good uh, snack to have in the fridge. So when you feel peckish, in the afternoon and you haven't decided what you're gonna have for lunch or for supper, these are something that'll definitely hold you over. They're so delicious. And uh, I really miss them. I used to eat them a lot when I was in Florida, but now it's just uh, whenever I can get them, I try to get as many as I can. Uh, I got a buddy, a really good friend of mine, Matt. Uh, I'm gonna prepare some for him, so he's gonna probably be getting half of what I have right here, a uh, few hundred, so I, I hope that he's looking forward to it. I, he might have been ready for some tonight, but it's a little late, but uh, he's going to get his after they cool down tomorrow. I'm going to break them all apart, and I'm going to let him uh, feast. He's a native of Maine, so I don't know if he's even ever had these. But uh, he's in for a treat, and we're in for a treat. So we get all the juice out of them, and we put them right on the top over here. So when I was talking about sprinkling, you take your... Uh, 
your Cajun seasoning, your favorite Cajun seasoning, whatever it may be. I have a couple different ones in here. I can see, oh yeah, there's one back there too. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this seasoning. We'll put that back up in there. We're gonna take some of this seasoning and we're gonna sprinkle it generously, generously on the crawfish. Okay, we get them garlic and get the onion pieces. Those did their jobs. That flavored that crab boil really nice, that crayfish boil. It really did a good job seasoning these guys up, so. You just sprinkle it right over the top. You sprinkle it right over the top and give them a nice little coating. And then when you get that first layer off, you toss them and let them sit in there. You want these to cool down best that they can. Uh, it's beautiful. Once it cools down, it stops the cooking and they remain really nice. Now I told you I was gonna show you exactly how to take one of these things apart and get the meat out. So this is what we're gonna do right now. It's pretty simple. It's still really hot because I just took them out of the hot water, so be careful. I wouldn't handle them right away, but I've got pretty rough hands from being a chef. You take the, the tail. These have meat in the claws. So you can pull it apart. Look at that. You see that little knuckle meat, just like a lobster? You pull that out. See, that came out whole. There's your meat for that. And that's how you get the ones that have the big claws. And these themselves, you twist one side, twist the other side, and pull. Now you take this, is the body meat, with all the fat. That's the fat that comes from the crayfish. You suck that right out if you, uh, if you wish to. It's good eating. That's where all the flavor is. It doesn't get any better than that. And as for the tail meat, you take that very first uh, shell piece off the top. Take the second piece off the top, that meat goes right in there, and you pinch the tail, and if you do it right, the whole tail comes out and the vein stays. There's the vein. That stays on attached to the tail, and there's your meat. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna do that again with another one. Take the tail, you spin it both ways, suck out the meat, you take the first layer, right off, clean off, and then you pinch that bottom part of the tail and you pull it out and what should happen is the tail meat well this one's a little a little smaller but that vein should still be in there there's the vein right there that comes right out that broken half but we'll do another one we'll do it until one stays so those were soft shells those shells are really soft here's a bigger one you pull the meat out now that one i'm going to be able to show you really good you take the top shell and you peel it off once that top piece of the shell comes off, you discard that. You take the bottom half, you pinch it, and you pull it out. And there's your vein, and there's your crawfish meat. And that's just beautiful right there. There's no vein in this, so this whole thing is edible. And it's sweet. It's sweet like a, a baby lobster kind of shrimp, and it's really good eating. So that's how you take the meat out of these guys. It's, it's really simple. Once you're actually eating them, you know, you suck that piece. You start getting really good at it. You take that top piece off and you pull that little tail. You're going to get some that are a little soft, the ones that are soft shell. But there's the vein coming out of that again. The vein stays on that bottom piece if you pull it. And then you can just kind of pull it down and there's your meat. So this is what your crawfish meat looks like. And it's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to get ready to dive into this, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please uh, subscribe and like. Uh, leave your comments below. And we'll see you again next time. Chef Pep saying goodbye. Bye.